one. Unlike the previous widget applications, here widgets are added dynamically. If widgets are to be added dynamically, at runtime, depending on user interaction, they can only be added in the Python file. 2. Besides the app class, the widget and relative layout classes are imported. The widget class is used for the color triangle widget. The root is based on relative layout. 3. This is the first half of the root class. Whenever a click is detected, the onTouchdown function is called by KV. Here we create an instance of the widget, set its position, and add the widget so it may be displayed. 4. When touch, or mouse, is dragged, a touch move is called by Kiwi. We use the same code, to add a color triangle. 5. After creating a subclass of the app class, it has to be run. We do not have to put the run code in the if name is equal to main block, if we understand that we will only run the Python file directly, and not import it. It does not hurt to have the condition, though as it results in more readable code. 6. In the KV file, we import the random module, as the alias rnd. Since the widget will be added to a relative layout, we have to put the size hint to none, none, so it does not use all available window space to draw the widget, but rather use the specific size provided here. 7. Finally in the canvas instructions, we set a random color, and then send it triangle coordinates. We cannot fix the triangle coordinates, as that will always draw the widget at a specific place, on the window. We have to refer to self variables, as they are changed at each instance. 8. For the root, we set a background color. 9. This is a particular result. Since this is a painting application, the total numbers of widgets is not known initially. 10. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.